Hi everyone, I have some new polishes here from Nailtopia. This one actually was out of stock in July when they sent our July polishes, so they sent it now. So that is um, their, we've got Disney Villains and then one more Disney Princess. So this is Snow White and we'll take a look at some swatches of that. And then we have Hades and Captain Hook. So let's take a closer look at these. So we'll take a little look at our Disney princess here in the bottle. It appears to be a red with a pink shimmer. And the bottles are numbered, just as all the Disney princesses were. So let's take a look and see what this looks like on the nail. I have some base coat already on. And now um, we'll just take a look at this gorgeous red. Wow, this is beautiful. It looks like it will probably need two coats because it's just, I see a little bit of my visible nail line, but not much. So here is the first coat. So here is the second coat. Um, just like any of the other Nailtopia polishes, this one applies really well. Here is two coats and it's perfectly opaque on my nails in two coats. So here is two coats with a top coat. So we have a bright cherry red and it's got a pink shimmer. Not sure if the pink shimmer is coming up on camera. We can try to get a little closer. Not looking like it's making an appearance right now. So now we're going to take a look at Captain Hook, which seems to be a brick red cream and, or maybe a burgundy. Yeah, I think it's more burgundy. And it has the limited edition number on it, so that's super cool. Let's take a close-up look at this. So here is Captain Hook, and it does have a really nice formula. And it's pretty opaque on this first coat. Depending on your nail length, you may not need another coat, but I am going to put two coats on because it might deepen the color a bit. Here is the first coat. Okay, here's the second coat. And since I do put my coats on kind of thin, it, it does deepen the color in two coats. That's because I like my polish to dry. <laughs> um, so you never know if too thick of a coat if your nail polish is going to dry all the way, if your top coat's going to do a good job, I don't know. I just don't take any chances. So I'd rather put more thin coats on than like one thick coat. So here is one coat, I mean two coats, my goodness, two coats of Captain Hook. That's a beautiful fall color. Here is two coats with top coat. Now we're going to look at Hades. It looks like it's a teal with some glitter in it. So we'll take a closer look at that. Let's turn it over and check out the limited edition number here. Super cool. All right, let's take a look at this. So I already have my base coat on and I'm just going to probably do a couple of coats of this. It's kind of light on the first coat. It has a lot of different color glitters in there. It's really pretty. Here is the first coat. I'm going to put a second coat on and 
and I think two coats works on me for um, opacity and here is two coats this is two coats with top coat I think the the glitters as you turn your hand or the bottle kind of reflect different colors so it's really pretty and you might be able to get it away with it to wear it for a green color at Christmas time for this little nail art look I'm using Nailtopia's Captain Hook Hades and Crumb de la Crumb. For some fun nail art, I'm going to use a little bit of Hades and Captain Hook, and I'm just going to lay them on this mat and um, let it dry overnight. I'm just going to lay a couple coats of this down and um, that'll be good. I have two coats of creme de la creme on um, the accent nails where I'm going to be doing some fun nail art. So we have these that we made last night. And I have my new favorite nail art tool. <laughs> little paper punch. So I'm just going to peel these off and you just kind of stick it in here. Make sure the, you know, you want to waste as little space as possible if that makes any sense. See, because then you have, you know, you can fit more leaves on here. Use my leaves if you want. So I just try to get them close together. I like to do it upside down. It's easier to see. And I always like to make it a little longer so I have something to hold on to. I might be able to get one more on here. Oh. shake it out. You can kind of lick the end of a cuticle stick to pick them up with. And then I'm just going to take this Captain Hook and I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, well, that one was off the edge, I guess. Actually, I think this one is more crinkly. I think I'm only going to get two out of this. For some reason, it's cracking apart. So, let's see. I'll try just grabbing it here. Oh. There we go. That one good one. I think really all I need is two. This one seems to be not so flexible. But these other ones are fine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to put a little bit of sticky base coat on the top of my nails. And I'm just going to wait about three minutes. Sometimes you might not even need this to attach these little things. Sometimes they're kind of like window clings. Well, they'll just cling on to the next layer. But I wanted this dry, so I actually I actually put a quick dry top coat on it last night. And because um, I, I was doing it pretty late at night and I wanted to make sure they were dry before I went to bed. I think if I flip these over, I can pick them up with a stamper. There we go. Oh, no, actually, I didn't want to flip it over. Yeah, actually, I don't think I want to put it with, on with a stamper either. It seems to be stuck pretty good on there. Let's not use that. Okay, so let's find the top of it, which would be the glittery side. That's the glittery side. And then I'm just going to place it on my nail. And oops, oh, it's not, it's, oh, it's not sticking. Or maybe I waited too long because it doesn't seem to be tacky anymore. Well, try it again. Okay, so this time I did it for two minutes. Yeah, it's sticking down better. All right, that's great. Okay, and that's good. These um these nail tolia polish has dried really quickly, so you probably don't have to let it sit overnight because I think that's what happened with the uh, the maroon one. I think it was kind of brittle because it was sitting too long out. Okay, <clears throat> so I have these down here. Now, because I don't want there to be a chance that these are going to smear, I'm going to put a smudge-free top coat over the top. Because re-wetting nail polish could make them smear. I don't want to have gone to all this trouble to ruin this manicure. Now I'm just going to take a little cleanup brush dipped in acetone and just remove anything extra hanging off. Some of the tip right here. Now that the um, smudge-free top coat is dry, I'm just going to put on a regular top coat. You can also put on a glitter eating top coat if you think that your top coat is too thin and you want to smooth this out more. Because they do kind of lay on top a little bit. They don't blend right in. 
So here is the finished manicure. I I love I love how this looks. I love all these colors and I love how easy it is to make nail art with paper punches. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and bye for now.